Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now in the previous episode we did build this self-replenishing Greco farm system here. Then uh, I've done a bit of a uh, couple of modifications to it before starting this episode. So first of all we've got the auto sweepers in and then the conveyor loaders. So they'll pick up anything that's not supposed to be in here and send it to our higher or upper uh, sharing stations right so all the eggs and everything all the resources will drop in here until this sensor feels that okay well we've got too many trekos in here right now all the eggs then it should close and it should send them to the other section in here we'll see if it's gonna work or not very soon and we're starting or trying to clean up this mess we had had in here as well i think one of the water locks uh yeah, it uh, broke, so we had to rebuild it. Anyways, that's in progress. Hopefully, Rowan, our, let's see, rancher. Where is he? He's taking a bit of a break, going for sleep. Okay, never mind. Once he gets some time, he'll go here. Now, another thing that I've done is I put back the cooling loop as well with a bit of a modification slash upgrade. So we have this liquid uh, shutoff and also the... Uh, what, what is it called? The thermal sensor here. So this individual loop here is gonna keep going around until it hits above about 10 degrees. At which point it is gonna be sent through to the lower level. So we are gonna keep cooling this area here as well. And um, here we got the exact same setup once again. But this time it is set to 28 degrees. So if the water is above 28 it's going to be sent through into our cleaning system and back to the base. Uh, do we have enough water here? Ooh, looking a little empty, but it seems to be fine. And the reason for that it really is if we look at the mealwood. Uh, let's try and grab one. They can survive up to 30 degrees Celsius. So we don't want to stifle our plants. We want to keep it, keep them nice and healthy. Let's have a look. Yep. Okay. All good. And why have we not planted one? Let's do one more in here. Okay, speed up the time just a little bit. So that's the plan. In the future, once we put another Treco farm right underneath, then the warmer water is going to be sent here. They are going to be fed bomb lilies, but they can live up to 85 degrees. And then, uh, yeah, we'll keep uh, this area relatively warm as well. I think about 40 degrees should be fine. Anything about 45 or 50 will be sent out. And I was thinking we could have this pepper nut um, farm right below because they like the water or the temperature to be around the same as palm lily. So that could work out pretty well. Anyways, are we Rowan? Can you uh, maybe a slightly higher priority? Well, let's see how it goes. Other things we're doing, uh, we also talked about stone hatches. So all I had to really do is just uh, put another door in here separate them and now we're able to bring some more critters down uh, however i think rowan has just so many tasks up his um on his list so it's uh, gonna take a bit of time we're probably gonna need another rancher fairly soon but uh yeah that's the plans when it comes to the ranching what we're also doing here is extending the deodorizers i like to get rid of all this polluted oxygen in here and and yeah just um, tidy this area up as much as we can. Now, I think today's episode's focus is going to be to get the research done. To complete the farms, we are going to need the conveyor receptacles, uh, which will supply the farms here, the millwood, with some dirt. So the duplicants or the farmer doesn't have to come here and top them up every time. Uh, yeah, so going back to the research tab in here, we can see that we are going to need some different research. So applied sciences is needed and we have to build the materials study terminal. I was thinking we'll do it probably somewhere about here. But first, it will be quite handy to clean this space up a little bit. Just a tiny bit, maybe, yeah. Let's do all of it. Let's um, clean you up and then we can start this construction uh, here. Um, what I'd also like to do is improve our 
How come you don't have power? Oh, I see. Well, let's open this up and then we can connect the power wire. Then I'd also like to move towards the uh, space there. So let's extend once again, just a little further, see how far we can go. And there we go. Marie is gonna help us with that. And um, I'd like to improve our power network a little bit. And the handiest of ways will be, well, solar power. But for that, we're gonna need materials, study as well, and some glass, which I think we could heat up this area a little bit. There's quite a bit of water. And yeah, that should not be a problem. Okay, how are we doing? Do you know what? Let's give you a slightly higher priority. Maybe a, maybe a 7 just to tidy you up a little bit. And uh, speed up the time as well. With the food, what's going on here? Oh, we don't have the resources. Food's looking good. However, right now they are not refrigerated, so... That's not gonna be very, very good for us. How about just for the time being, we'll put a fridge in there. Never mind, might be easier if it's actually right next to next to this here. No, let's put it by the door. So that's gonna shorten the running distance for the duplicates as well. Let's try again, one over there. Hook you up with power. And let's see what is printing. Suit wearing, supplying, digging. I think we're not going to take anyone. Um, I'd like the future duplicates to have three traits or interests. So for now, let's take the golden, golden amalgam. How are we going here? Finally, someone started to help us move into this location. Are we still focused on this? No, we're not too much. So that is good. How about... Oh, okay. So we finally have a Treko that has grown up. However, the wrangling has not progressed at all. Uh, yeah, I'm really hoping we'll get a tube that's, uh, that has a little bit of an interest in ranching. That would be very handy. And also water is going past these. Okay, there into those ones. Doesn't seem we have quite enough water in here. So how about we could direct... Hmm... Do we want to? Or shall we grab water from... This could be also handy. I mean, this pool is gonna have to be emptied at some point anyway, so... We might as well start working towards that right now. Bring you... Oh, wrong click. Let's grab the pipe again. And I think we went through here. Connect you up, and all you're gonna need now is a bit of power as well. So, let's use copper and bring you down. Okay, I think the thing was not connected. Somewhere here. Here we go. So, everything's gonna go up. If it's full, it will fill those tanks instead. And, uh, yeah, you don't have to focus on that so much right now. I'd much prefer if you go up there. Oh, we need another ladder just up there. Stations, let's have a look. Um, <laughs> what we'll do... We are gonna use the wheeze words. We'll do a bit of automation for that as well. So perhaps a couple of doors underneath. So that way we can enable and disable this construction. And a very simple one. If we go food, we are gonna need a planter box. Here we go. Grab one of those. And I think this is about the height we need. Yep, let's do that. Seven for that. Actually, let's do seven for you as well. Six for all this. And now let's look at the stations. We are going to need the materials study terminal. And I'm thinking we're going to place you somewhere about here. Maybe up here, actually. Yeah. So if I pause this for a second, we'll keep you here radiation so it's gonna take some rat bolts duplicant is gonna be working in this area i don't want them to go or have any reason to go towards here so we're most likely going to block this off now when firing those rat bolts we don't want to be firing them from left to right in case there is a dupe in here i mean i suppose we could set up some automation as well to disable the firing but 
uh, let's keep it simple for now at least. So we'd like to fire it from either from down to up or up to town. Or maybe at an angle as well, away from the du duplicant essentially. So we'll just clear this area first. We are going to have to find some weasel woods as well. There is one over here. But I'm sure there's another one hiding somewhere there. I thought there was one here, but I can't quite remember. And I don't see any seeds that I might have dropped on the floor. So maybe we didn't have one here. Well, bit of a shame. Hmm. I don't think we've seen one in the printing board either. Okay. Well, it's, um, it's okay. The fridge is built, so... How about we set you up as well? We'll put you at the slightly higher. What are you? Six or so seven for you. Uh, cooked fish. Actually, do you know what? Just store everything. I don't think we need muckroot in here. But the other things, yeah, that would be would be lovely. Like to quickly check the consumables as well. Uh, no one's eating meat. Or the baku filet. But they are allowed to eat cooked fish and barbecue. So that's good. Okay, beautiful. So that's filled as well. We got some muckroot over there. 40 kilos. Okay. So that's a bit of an emergency storage, I suppose. What are we storing here? Sand. Okay, fine. Uh, how we tidied up those Drekos? Uh, they've gone somewhere. What's going on here? 6 out of 7. 7 out of 7. X, Y, how many are here? 8. And... There's about four Klossy Treklet eggs. Oh, so we're getting quite a few of them already. Oh, there's another one in here. One and three. So, what is it? Seven in total. Okay. I guess in the next episode, we'll probably have to build the second farm. Unless we have time to do it in this one. Okay. Back to the research. Do we have... Uh, we don't have the word seed. Shame. I guess... We are going to have to go in here then. I was hoping not to. Yeah. Probably have to seal this as well. Because we're losing a lot of temperature. So maybe. How much copper do we have? A little bit. How about we seal you in. Two layers. We'll also do the insulation. Or insulated tile. Not the insulation. And. Um, you know what? Maybe we just run through here. Yeah, that could work. Let's do that. We'll block you in, seal you in. So hopefully, if there are at least one or... Oh, there's a ladder here somehow. Uh, if there are more than one Wii's words in, in here, we'll steal one. But we'll do our best to keep the temperatures controlled there as well. So we're not going to lose all that sleet wheat. Maybe, yeah, it's not a bad idea to tidy this up as much as we can. And let's look at the radiation. So we are going to need a generator that is going to fire those bolts. But we'll first have to figure out what's the most optimal placement for that. I believe it's probably going to be somewhere in the middle. Actually, how many words do we want here? Good to four, which means you might want to be raised up a little bit. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look. Four might be better. Two might be enough to start with. So if we do one here, let's grab you and maybe we'll put you on a one. Same with you. Don't build it if you can. Once we get a Weezword or two or three, then we can figure out what's the best design for this as well. It might even be that it's better to put it above. Raise this by one or two. Rat bolt generator right here, actually. Well, let's uh, try and grab one. Well... Let's do it this way. Let's see the radiation. Oh, that's not going to be accurate, is it? Because there's a bit of a tile there. Uh, two, no, 190. Above is 210, 224. Okay, so this is where it's highest. Or 181. Okay. This could also work. But once we get it further away, it starts dropping pretty quickly. 175, yeah, 50 lower. I don't think we have to worry about it too much because we barely, barely have any... Well, we don't have any Weasworts right now. Oh no, there's some water coming our way. And we should have probably placed one of those blocks in there in case it happens again. And what I'd also like you to do is make sure this is a slightly higher priority. There we go. 
get to constructing, then we'll dig down one more level and put the insulated tiles in place as well. Okay, things are okay so far. What I'll do now is I'll fast forward a little bit. And once we do a bit of a rescue mission here for the Weezword, and it's all patched up as well, we'll be uh, jumping right back in to complete our research. Okay, so we do have a little bit of progress. We've managed to seal off the, this area now, so it should keep the temperature in there. And we've put the airflow tiles just in case it starts flooding in here. We just don't want to flood our whole base. Oh no, you're drowning now as well. A uh, quick emergency dig over here. Let's give a... Oh, too late. Well, at least we've got the seed that we were looking for. And then we'd also like to take a look what's uh, hiding behind these doors here. So let's get this built. We'll get someone to come and submit their scan. Is anyone coming over? Bubbles might be. Very, very soon. And there we go. Uh, should be here any moment. Just listening to this here, I believe it sounds like there is another Weezword. Okay, I was a little worried if that's the only one. Then, uh, yeah, this area is probably not going to last too long. Although up there is broken, but it's pretty cold. Uh, I hate when this happens. There's still one of those unknown tiles here, which means we can never build anything in here. Unless you know how to get rid of it. Um, yeah, we're kind of stuck with that. Okay, let's... Uh, Take the data bank from here. Oh, we have one of those neural vacillators here as well. Which could be cool. But we don't know who to give those benefits just yet. So we'll leave it for the time being. Uh, Alright, we've got everything we need from here. Let's bring over that lonely Weezword that we have. And that's not going to be a lot of uh, or enough radiation. I guess the next thing is just to hope for for some more seeds. Unless we go to the other planetoid there. Let's have a look. What do we have in here? Oh, we do have the gold biome. So maybe we should head over there to have a look what we can grab, perhaps. But for the time being, do you know what? Let's just do one in uh, here. This is one up. Let's say somewhere here. And this spot might not be bad at all. Or, hmm, decisions. Or we just keep it like that. I think it still has to go one up though, if I remember correctly. Do you know what? Let's bring the seed in here. We'll plant it. And then we'll take another look where it's best to collect those rats. And then once we've brought it in, or brought it out from here, we'll just seal it up as well. And we might even do a double layer might not be a bad idea. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's uh, fix it up a little bit. Got you down. I'll leave you for a second. Seems to be there's only oxygen in there, which means, yeah, all these are gonna pile up over time. Let's get you built. I'll fix you up, although this polluted water might become an issue. Uh, this might be a little bit better. Uh, one second. Let's grab another tile. We shall do something like this. Nine and a nine. I'd like to build this right away. And then patch you up as well. Okay. Uh, speed of the time. Let's get this done first. Uh, never mind. It's already rotten. Do you know what? Does not matter. It's fine. We'll just patch you up and close these bits as well. Actually, do this one first and then these ones. I uh, would have polluted oxygen there now. Okay, never mind. It's okay. We'll get you built these sections. Let's do a seven. Okay, uh, never mind. Weezword is in position. So let's take another look at the lower 300, 381, 318. Okay, so same. Let's dig up this bit here as well. So we can have a look if uh, the tiles are affecting it right now. Which they probably are. But uh, yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, I really wish we had another, at least one more seat. But I don't want to dig this one up. In case we want to keep those. Mm, do we though? That's going to melt very quickly. It's going to cool or warm slowly. But you know what? 
I think we need it. I think we need it. It's going to be a little bit quicker to progress with the research. And I mean, in the grand scheme of things, we are not going to keep this here anyway. So why bother? And I think for the time being, let's just uh, store that seed somewhere there. Okay, I think this is what we what we are going to do. Uh, let's just double check again. 248. We shall not place you here. Deconstruct. What we'll do is we'll grab the wrap ball generator. We'll place you in here. And then because it's going to fly diagonally. I guess the material study station, if we can grab you, needs to go about here. And then it can fly straight in there without... I think the radiation should be a little bit better here. Could always place some metal tiles or insulated tiles. I can't really remember what, what's the best, but since we don't have a lot of refined metal, I think maybe, maybe we'll try like... Uh, can you fly through this? Here. Hopefully it's not going to be in the way, but I guess we'll have to find out. And we could do something like this. Then we'll set up some automation as well. Maybe even some shipping. Let's see. About here. I hope it's not going to obstruct the rat bolts when they fly out. Could also do a massive box. What's your range? You can reach all the way here. Okay, so that's good. Let's have... And double check. Yep, so... They are going to need phosphorite, so what we'll do is we'll ask the dupes to bring it here, but not feed the uh, Weezword itself. Oh wow, that's going to take a lot of power here. Might need its own power station with coal like we have up there. Have we grabbed the second seed? No, we have not. And that's because we have not planted you just yet. Okay, let's do that. Or you will set you for phosphorite, probably seven. And then we'll put some doors in here as well, just to stop the duplicates to go from going in. But for now, I think it's uh, it's pretty good. All we gotta do now is uh, give you give you a little bit of power. Actually, what could have been smart is hmm, if we don't build you there. Let's just think about it. If we place you here or here, this might be better. So let's have a look at the power. We'll grab the coal generator. And you could probably... How far is it? Ooh, could risk it. Let's see. Or will you be able to supply it if you sit about there? And we can do two of those bins right here. So one for coal, one for phosphorite. And then that way that's uh, far enough for the duplicates. Yeah. Let's have a look. So rads right now, what is it? 716. So that potentially, oh, it's not going to tell us how much it's going to produce because, yeah, there's no power right now. Uh, but not to worry. Oh, we can't do the smart battery because we don't have any more refined metal. So let's uh, let's grab some more. How about we get another 20? At least, maybe 25. That could be, could be great. And now that we have the seed as well, I think it's probably a good time to batch you up as much as we can. What are you collecting? Polluted dirt. Okay, well... I think, uh, yeah, you might want to come out. Because we're about to seal this. There we go. No one else went in, so that's beautiful. Okay, so that area should be fine there. How are we doing in here? Consumable ore. Let's set you up as well. Don't think we need too much. Let's put uh, about 5,000 just to start with. Priority 6, and you are already with Phosphorite. Yeah, you can probably bring everything in here. Uh, let's turn off the manual use, only these ones. And now, do we have refined metal already? No. They are about to bring it. Okay, just a little bit more. We'll have it, and once we have enough material, we'll jump right back. Alright, so we do have a couple of things in place already. We have an auto sweeper here. That is going to supply these wheeze words. And we set up a bit of automation as well. So when we don't want to produce any more rat bolts, we can just turn it off. However, anything that's collected in here will then disappear pretty quick. It doesn't really hold anything. Right, I think we're good to set this up. Let's have a look. How much are you collecting? 70 per cycle. 
Okay, we're also going to need someone, which is Bubbles, to be able to use that uh, research station now. Okay, so that should be working. Let's turn off manual use. And I'd like to make sure that we have the resources that we need in here. Is anyone bringing any? Auto might bring some soon. Okay, so that's good. The battery is going to keep everything and the, well, the coal generator is going to keep everything good. So um, we'll just patch it up, keep the radiation somewhat contained if we can. And uh, yeah, after everything's swept up as well, then our duplicates won't have to come in this zone because that is uh, quite dangerous for them. And uh, yeah, the way we've angled this as well is going up diagonally. So I guess we'll see if it's going to go through here. If not, then we'll remove those two spots. And uh, yeah, very soon we shall be able to start uh, getting the research that we need, which is a couple of things in here, actually. And after that, we'll get the solar panels and the steam turbine as well. Are you almost there? done once it hits 50 it should release them over we'll keep an eye on that and uh let's have a look down here as well we had another glossy treco that was born so what are you are you just uh chilling out cramped oh there's quite a few eggs probably and uh yeah with all those eggs as well once they've grown up we'll uh, do a quick switch over and uh we're very close to having to build this second farm or ranch down there we also had a new duplicate. Let's check the priorities. So where are you? That was... Oh, Devon. Okay, so Devon does like ranching and farming. So he was brilliant. And once he has another skill point as well, he's going to become our rancher number two. We have also managed to clean up all these hatches from there. I believe they should be all down here. But over time, once those eggs are removed by automation... They'll be sent over there. Actually, what's happening in here? Do we have no more sedimentary rock or stone hatches? Weren't they? Yeah. Let's uh, wrangle a few stone hatches and send them over before we are too late. They're a little bit older already. But let's see if we can grab a few of them. And with priority, do you know what? Let's put a five on these ones. How come you guys have no food? Oh, because we've ran out of sedimentary rock, it seems. Well, okay, we're going to have to go hunting uh, for some more. I'm sure we can find find a little bit extra. If not, you're going to start eating sandstone. Because we got plenty of that around the map right now. Okay, so I think we missed this part, but uh, the rat balls have gone in. Okay, so that's great. That means it can travel through those corners or the diagonally beautiful uh bubbles are you gonna be doing this research hopefully it's a yes and yeah okay so we are now making the material study just a few more points and then we'll have the research that we need and we can start building some other things in here as well and that's pretty much everything we wanted to achieve in this episode so uh, yeah we've got the next level research station up we've got the uh, trekkers improved a little bit and a few glossy ones as well we've uh, isolated or at least limited the temperature flow out now that we have no wheeze words in here anymore and we've sorted out the hatch problem there as well i guess the next one food seems to be holding up pretty nicely so yeah, things are uh, starting to look good. This is actually overflowing. We've been moving some water up there. Yeah, it should go in. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. How about we send you... Let's try this again. There we go. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks very much for joining and I hope to see you again in the next one.